This video podcast is brought to you by McCarter Online. And it should be said what we were saying earlier that Shaw would have, I mean, the, the tweaking that you're talking about mm -hmm. doing um, is something that he would entirely have supported. That oh, absolutely. Well, he wrote, I got this also after Suzanne sort of goaded me into it. Um, was that he had written this in 1895, it was banned from England for 25 years. And so, God, what a, I would love to have one of my plays banned for 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. And um, he wrote, when he was going to write it for publication, give, you know, give the script, um, the manuscript for publication, he couldn't help himself and he was rewriting on the galleys, you know. And so there's a 1930 script um, here. And there's a lot of changes. So you know he learned a lot. He's clarified, and he, he was tweaking all the way through. There were about 150 tiny little changes. And some of them were great, and some of them he, he had better in the original, yeah. which is always interesting. So it's, um, you know, it's great to be, it feel like he's sort of going to come through the door at some point. You know, and it seems like it's a living text we're working with, and I love that. So, But it's also that, that <coughs> the tweaking is, a, is entirely always about what makes theatre happen, that he was yes. an incredibly practical theatre man. So it, it, either it worked or it didn't work. It landed or it didn't land. That's right. And that's what he was about making happen. So he's never precious about words, even right. though so thoughtful about them yes. at the same though time. Though so many right? academics are. Yes, but that's different. That's an academic problem. It's yes. not a theatre problem. <laughs> it's true. Right? Although, no, some theatre people also are way too reverential with him, I think. Right. Because of, so you can't change a comma or a semicolon or, or anything. And, and in fact, he changed even the punctuation in, in um, the 1930s. So he was right. playing around with it. What yes. he was doing was saying, what's the best line reading? Yes, 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 <coughs> yes, yes, yes. And he took the one where the, 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 the actress who gave him the best line reading, he'll do yes. that punctuation. Yes. <laughs> Notice of that? Of course. Of, no, well, I mean, uh, of course, yes, because he, he, he'd have seen, you know, of loads of productions, yes. and some of them really bad. I mean, that's why, I, 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 you know, a great theater master like Shaw or Chekhov, you know, you, you, you cross out the stage directions, but you really look at them. I mean, they, because they're writing, because they want to make damn sure you don't do the wrong thing. Yeah. Not necessarily what they've written. I mean, it, it, Chekhov. That's a good point. Yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You, you know, they, they go, no, no, no. I mean, Chekhov. Uh, write so specifically his, in a page and a half, a, a, a page and a half of, of text in The Three Sisters, at the end, uh, when Vashina leaves, he writes, um, he writes, restraining sobs, sobs bitterly, cries, weeps. Well, that is, a, I mean, if that's a, no, but that's a playwright taking Absolutely. you through an arc of an emotion, yeah. you know, and I mean, mostly, uh, you know, you'd go in and uh, sort of do emotion and, you know, the director would think, oh, well, at least you can do that, you know, and leave it at that, but it's actually really specific, um, and I think yeah, I mean, I, I mean, Ibsen writes very few. Yeah, it's true. But Tennessee Williams also writes masses, 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 and yeah. very particular. Mm -hmm. And he's usually right. Well, he's usually right. So the, it's, it's you're right. It, the, the great writers tell you what not to do rather than what exactly to do. So what you've got there is saying it's very, very specific feeling of grief and, yes. and loss. Yes. But it's not on this syllable. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. It's not that. Yes. It's, it's something much more sophisticated than that. This podcast has been brought to you by McCarter Theatre in Princeton, New Jersey. For tickets, call 609-258-ARTS or visit www.mccarter.org.